What's up everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And today I'm going to be doing a reaction to the John Wick 3 trailer. Now I've seen John Wick 1 and 2. I like them a lot. I actually didn't want to watch them at first, but then I was over at a friend's house and she's like, Anna, we gotta watch John Wick. And I was like, what's the big deal? She's like, you've never seen John Wick. You gotta watch it. And then as we were watching it, she's kind of, you know, we're talking and like, going over what's going on because she's trying to convince me because at first I was like eh it doesn't like I wasn't very intrigued by the story and then once I watched it I was like holy shit this is awesome so without further ado I've been really excited to watch this trailer so let's check it out all right everyone I got the trailer pulled up I'm really excited so let's jump right into this all right yes Mafias and Neo back at it again I hope nothing happens to the dog. I really hope nothing happens to the dog. What have you done? He killed him. That's what he did. He killed that jerk for backstabbing him. You know what a puppy? You can do it. Run, Keanu. Run. What a poor puppy. Oh. I did not know she was going to be in it. I love her. Morticia. No, oh, no, not his wife. I Heck yeah, he's gonna get out. He's freaking John Wick. Are you kidding me? What? No way! Ah, uh, I can't think of that actor's name, but I love him in Game of Thrones. Two, one, excommunicado. They make it sound all official. Dude, this is gonna be so good. Come on, go, John. Ugh. Oh shoot. I'm not really a big fan of fight or like chase scenes like that, but that's gonna be legit. Ugh. I feel like this villain's gonna be a lot better than uh, the ones in the last movie. I feel like they just had Ruby Rose in there for like her name because she was popular at the time. What? How did you get to the desert? Heck yeah, Holly freaking Barry. And there's more puppies. Ah, this is gonna be so good. Don't hurt the puppy! Don't hurt the puppy! Dude, I'm gonna say this this trailer was good. It's not as it was action packed, but it wasn't as intense as I thought. Uh, let let let's stop this. Let's, let's stop this, and let me talk about this in a minute. Alright, that was awesome. It was a little slower paced than I thought. I thought it was going to be one of those, like, let me show action and then action and, like, some cool stuff. But this one, I felt like it did a good job of showing, like, those slow, drawn-out moments, but also showing the action, but just in a different pace, if that makes sense. And it didn't give away a lot of the plot. It's basically him, you know running from where we left off at John Wick 2. So it's very intriguing and I feel like I, I don't know everything that's going to happen in this movie, which I feel in trailers nowadays, it's like, okay, I just watched the entire movie in the trailer. That's what I heard about with uh, Jurassic uh, World 2, is that everything that you saw, that all the exciting parts in the movie were in the trailer. I didn't actually watch Jurassic uh, World 2 because I, I watched Mahler's review of it and that, that's all I needed to do. But yeah, so I'm excited for this movie. Ah, the first two were great. Fingers crossed this one is, you know, the perfect ending to this trilogy. And fingers freaking crossed for the dog. Fingers crossed for the dog. That being said, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And may the force be with you because we are really going to need it. 